All right, today is all about the knee. Now I'm gonna give you two things we're gonna go through that a lot of our followers have been wanting to see. So the first one is gonna be knee mobilization of the tibia and a, doing an AP glide to try and get some flexion. And the second one is doing a smile type taping to lift the patella using kinesio tape to eliminate pain in the kneecap when you're squatting. So, first one. This is to try and get some more knee flexion. Okay, now we're using the lovely Claire here today. Um, obviously hasn't got any knee problems, but people who have either post-surgical or they've had meniscal tears or that post-ACL rehab struggle with knee flexion. Now some of it is due to swelling and tightness and guarding, and also some of it is because their capsule, all the soft tissues around the knee is very stiff. Now, that can happen when you've got a chronic knee complaint or post-surgical because the tissues are really tightened up due to a lot of swelling and a lot of guarding and simply not using it, not being able to go on there because of injury or pain in the knee. So this sort of AP glide is a classic one we use down in here, okay, to try and get some range. But often, especially in physio, it's not used enough up in here to get the flexion because maybe it's just not done. But what we do here, if you imagine the tibia is sitting there, that's the sort of line of the tibia on the femur. Now what we're trying to aim for is a glide that way, an AP glide to try and improve how well that tibia goes that way. Because remember this is a hinge joint, but it's a slide glide and roll mechanism. So as you bend from here to here, it's not opening up like this, it's sliding that way. Now this slide part is what often is missed, and that's what we're gonna work on today to try and prove how well those tissues move and get that tibia going into like a posterior glide when you go into flexion, because that's how it works. So what I suggest you do is get the person in that sort of position there. Now, you may have to get another towel to block the foot, because sometimes if they're very tight, they wanna sort of slip down, okay? So get them up in the position where they're sort of about to lose range. Not pain, but about to get sort of like, you, you'll feel where they sort of block, and they're going, okay, it's about there, they're starting to get it. So that would be roughly about the position. As long as they're okay in that position, they feel okay, not in pain, that's where you sort of block them here with the towel. So you don't have to put your foot on it, okay? And it gives them a bit of comfort that they're not gonna go anywhere. And I would use another towel. Now, depending on how thick you need to go, I'd always use a towel for a bit of grip, but if they've got a bit of fluid or sensitivity from surgery, you're gonna have to buffer it out with a bit of thickness here so it's a bit more comfortable so they can tolerate the pressure. Basically what you're trying to do is aim for being on that tibial plateau just below the joint line. Okay, you want to be as close or as proximal to that joint line as possible. Obviously, being up on the kneecap's not gonna work because you've got to actually move the tibia under the femur. So getting into there and using this hand to drive, if you imagine, exactly in the line of that towel. You're driving that way, so it goes directly in the joint line direction, okay? Now, tips I use with this one is again with all physio to save your hands, you've got to try and think of that locking system where you're gonna try and lock your wrist, lock your elbow, lock your shoulder, lock everything down here so you're sort of almost pushing when I'm here with your body, okay? I'm not trying to drive really with my arms so much because if I do that, it's gonna be uncomfortable here. I've gotta make this part not a grippy part, okay? It's gotta be just basically one pressure here and the drive is me moving my body, if that makes sense, okay? So I'm doing an AP glide, not by getting in there and pushing with my hand, it's actually pushing with my body, and that'll feel way more comfortable for the patient. So what you're aiming for is to make sure you're looking at that client and seeing where that pain kicks in, because you don't wanna push it too hard, it gets painful, and always reassess and have a look, at is my arm, that forearm line, in a direct line with that joint? There's no point, being down here and pushing upwards, because that's just gonna hurt. Okay, you wanna be making sure that the elbow is cocked up at a position where the drive is correct, okay? And then you're just trying to push in, get that right to end range, and back off. Reps and sets, I mean, you're probably, probably trying to aim for maybe 20, 30 of these in one set, depending on how they're feeling. And then always make sure you break, get them out of that position, just be careful with that, Give them a bit of relief into extension for a couple of seconds and then go back into your set, a second set, third set, fourth set, 10 sets, whatever it takes 
to try and improve that. As long as they can tolerate that sort of range, you may find every sort of set or two, you can go up and you can test it. Like, have I got any more range? If they've got another five degrees, we'll just start five degrees more. So then move the towel up, okay? And so you're now in, say, 95 degrees instead of 90 degrees, and away you go again. Now, if you can subtly creep in there and load them up bit by bit and try and get as much AP glide range in there as possible, you know, do 10 of those, back down, sneak them up. You may find subtly you're just creeping up and all of a sudden they're getting more and more flexion. And then that'll feel a lot better when you're going down into flexion this way, they've probably got some more range. They'll instantly, when they get up, feel less pain when they're walking, they'll feel looser, feel a lot better. And that's the sort of movement that they're not gonna be able to achieve themselves. Okay, so that's where the physio is really gonna come in handy, is to work on the gliding part of that, because they're gonna be working on their rehab, they're gonna be working on flexion stretches, they're gonna work on their quads, everything else is gonna happen. This part is it's gonna push them along a little bit further and really drop down some of that stiffness that's developed inside and around that joint that's holding them back from getting that full flexion. Because if you can get that flexion better quicker, they're gonna rehab faster. So there's your tip on the flexion.